Welcome back. Today we're looking at the integral of 1 over x squared plus x minus 1 squared dx. So this is essentially the reciprocal of a quadratic function. So if we don't really know where to start, we can start off by simplifying the bottom here. So that's what we're going to do. We have the integral of 1 over, we have x squared plus, if we expand this out, this is the same, this is the same as x squared minus 2x plus 1. So we can just collect the terms and we have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 dx. So now the key insight to solving this integral is actually to group these two terms together. And you have to remember that the derivative, I'll write it over here, the derivative of arctan, which is the same as inverse tan of y, dy is equal to 1 over 1 plus y squared. So we have a one term here, and if we can factorize this into a complete of the square form, into, a, into like a squared function in terms of x, then we could straight away integrate this to get arctan of that function. So our approach is to complete the square on the bottom. So this is the same as the integral of one over. So we want to get this as a squared term like this, and we want an x term, but we have two x squared, which means we need the square root of 2x in here. If we expand this out, this would give us 2x squared. And then we also need um, a constant in here that would, when we expand it out, we get a minus 2x. And you can play around with this. We would get the square root of 2 over 2. So if we expand this out, we'd get square root of 2 times minus the square root of 2 over 2, which is just um, 1. This is minus 1. So we get two of those terms, and this gives us the minus 2x. And then we just need to balance the constant. So we have a plus one, and then we need to subtract off the constant when we square this out. So this squared is just a half, so we need to subtract a half. And so we have one minus a half. We can just um, simplify. This is the same as plus a half. So now, if we want to think about getting into this form, we should scale it by two, so we have a plus one. So I'm just gonna multiply top and bottom by two. So we have two over one plus, so we have two here in front times root two x minus root two over two squared. But we want to get the two inside the brackets. We have a squared term, uh, I need to write dx. So just remember that two obviously is equal to the square root of two squared. So we can just bring in square root of two inside this bracket here. And if we do that, we get two over one plus square root of two times square root of two is, is two. So we have 2x for the first term, and the second term, if we multiply this by square root of 2, we have 2 over 2, which is just minus 1, and this is squared. So now we have it in this form, essentially. So to make the connection, let's just write y as 2x minus 1, and very conveniently, we have the derivative of y, so dy dx is equal to 2, and we have this on the numerator. So if you think about the reverse chain rule, if we were to differentiate the arctan of y, we would get, we'd get this on the bottom, but we'd also get, we have to multiply by the derivative of y, which is two. So this very conveniently just comes out to be the arctan of this, so 2x minus one. And we need to always add a constant plus c. So this is the solution to this integral.